Hey guys, what's going on? So today I actually had a few issues with my Ares Amoeba AM13 and the gearbox was actually jamming up on me so I rarely run AEGs so I wanted to take this opportunity to share how to properly unjam an AEG gearbox when it's stuck in the compressed state. Most of the time this occurs when the battery runs out of enough power to fully cycle the gears and instead the piston is stuck either halfway or all the way to the rear of the gearbox. So as you see here a fully charged battery is plugged in and I am getting no response from the gearbox. A lot of people think you actually need to open up the gearbox and manually reset the gears and piston, but there is a much simpler solution. First I'm going to remove my entire upper receiver just to make the rifle a little bit smaller to work with. I need to remove the motor, so next I'm going to remove the two screws holding the grip base plate into place. You're going to want to be sure that you only remove the screws located at either end of the base plate. The larger screw in the middle is the motor height adjustment screw, and you do not want to touch that. Keeping that adjustment the same is going to ensure that the motor goes in at the exact same height as it was before when the rifle was functioning flawlessly. And with the base plate gone, we can now see the motor. Pay attention to the orientation here, as well as the connection points and wires. You want to reinstall the motor in the exact same way it was set up if possible. To remove the motor, simply pry off the wire connection points. And in a rather similar fashion, you can now pry out the motor itself. With the motor removed, the final step is to actually remove the grip itself, which can be done by loosening all four screws in the base of the grip. You're going to want to make sure that the wires don't snag when you're pulling off the grip. So here is our solution to the gearbox jam. If you look into the gearbox from the motor hole, you will actually see a latch that's running up and down alongside the gearbox. This is an anti-reversal latch and it does exactly that. It keeps your gears from spinning the wrong way. Using a thin hook, you can reach down into the motor hole, grab that latch, and pull it straight towards the motor hole, releasing the compression from the springs. I actually made my own tool for this job by simply taking an extra grenade pin, unfolding it all the way, and then using pliers to bend it into a hook-like shape. This really worked perfectly for me, and I'm sure a lot of other airsofters have these extra grenade pins just lying around. So using my custom little hook here, I'm going to reach under the latch and pull it firmly towards the motor hole. When you do this right, you will actually hear and feel the gearbox decompress back into place. This is how you know you've successfully unjammed the gearbox. And that's it, the gearbox is unjammed and it won't need to be opened up. I'll assemble the rest of the rifle so we can properly test it. And just as expected, with the same exact battery going back into the rifle, it is now fully cycling on semi and full auto modes. So I hope that was helpful for some of you newer AEG techs. Thanks for checking out the video, and as always feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for more. I'll catch you guys in the next one.